Hello everyone, my name is Dave Morera. I'm a senior technical marketer and architect at VMware for vSphere. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to install ESXi on both x86 servers, as well as DPUs, which are also known as smart nets. So let's take a look at how easy it is to install and get started with DPUs and vSphere. Starting with ESXi on DPUs is really easy. The first thing we need to do is install ESXi not only on the x86 server, but also on the data processing unit. So the process of doing that is the same process to doing right now. For example, we can boot up a server, x86 server, load an ISO, and the process is exactly the same with one minor change. And now I'm gonna show you that. So first, we're gonna go ahead and connect our virtual media. The same process we do now, we're going to choose our file. In this case, we have the ESXi 80 version here. We're going to open that and we're going to map that device. All right. So now that we have done that, we're going to go ahead and close this. Then we're going to have to tell the server to boot into the virtual CD, DVD, or ISO. Select that. And the last step is to just power on the system. As the system is powered on, the data processing unit is going to be detected and, and then ESXi is going to be loaded since we're booting up from that virtual DVD or ISO, right? So we're going to enter continue. So this is what is different here. It's giving us an option to install or upgrade ESXi on the x86 server. But as we were booting up, the server recognized that there was a data processing unit, in this case, an NVIDIA Bluefield 2. We have the option to not only select the ESXi server, but we can also select the data processing unit, the DPU. So by doing this, now we're telling the server, go ahead and install ESXi on x86, but also the DPU at the same time. So we're using that unified ISO, the unified image to install on both locations. So we have the exact same version and build number on both sides. So this process from now on is the same. We're going to select what is the disk to install or upgrade ESXi. And here we're going to tell it to install ESXi and overwrite that data store if there's any. Then we're going to hit enter, select our keyboard layout and enter the root password for this x86 ESXi. So we're entering the password, make sure they match. As you can see here, we just install ESXi on x86 server and the data processing unit. So from this point on, we're gonna remove the installation media and reboot the server. Again, the server boots up, recognizes the data processing unit, loads ESXi on both x86 and the DPU at the same time. It is pretty simple as you can see, same process, just one extra checkbox to deal with. And at this point we can join that server to vCenter and we're going to have access to not only uh, ESXi on the server, but also on the data processing unit. 